The smallest particle of a compound which retains all the properties of that compound is called molecule of that compound. A molecule can be shortly written as represented as molecular formula. Just for example, water its smallest particle is water molecule and a water molecule contains two atoms of hydrogen combined with one atom of oxygen. So its molecular formula is S2. In the same way, table salt, its smallest particle which retains all the property of table salt is NaCl which contains one atom of sodium combined with one atom of chlorine. This way today I am going to teach you how to write molecular formula of different compound and I have taken many compounds on the chart and I'll write the molecular formula of each of them but before we start to write the molecular formula I want to mention the name of some compound how to write the name of some compound just for example when iron combines with oxygen they form iron oxide not iron oxygen Magnesium when combines with nitrogen, we never write magnesium nitrogen, magnesium nitride. In the same way, oxygen when combined with calcium, calcium oxide. Aluminium when combines with sulfur, aluminium sulfide. Now I am going to write some fact related with the naming of the compound this way. Chloride means chlorine is combined. Nitride means nitrogen is combined. Sulfide means sulfur is combined. In the same way, oxide means oxygen is combined. But if bromide, bromine is combined, hydride, Hydrogen is combined. This way, we have to uh, take care of this ID. ID represents certain element is combined. After this much understanding about the naming of the compound, now I am going to tell you how to write molecular formula of different compound. Look at the chart paper. I have taken many compounds here. Calcium chloride. How to write molecular formula of calcium chloride? Before writing this molecular formula, I want to tell you one more thing related with molecular formula. In previous class, I told you about this symbol. I told you about valency and radical. And I mentioned the symbol and valency of different elements. And I mentioned the formula and valency of different radicals. Without the knowledge of this, symbol, valency and formula of different elements and radical will not be able to write the molecular formula of different compound. We must remember the valency, formula and symbol of elements and radical. Then only we can write molecular formula of different compounds. Look at this. Here many elements are involved. We must know their symbol. We must know their valency. Many radicals are written, we must know their formula and we must know their, their uh, valency and then only we will uh, be able to write their molecular formula. Look at this calcium chloride. While writing molecular formula, calcium symbol is Ca. Chloride means chlorine is combined Cl. Now we will exchange the valency, calcium valency 2, chlorine valency 1. One valency we don't have to exchange it to calcium because calcium itself is 1. That's why Valency of calcium 2 is transferred to chlorine, CaCl2, calcium chloride. The reason is very simple, combining capacity, that is valency of calcium is 2. But combining capacity, that is valency of chlorine is 1. It means calcium, combining capacity of calcium is 2 times greater than that of the chlorine. That's why one calcium atom combines with two chlorine atoms. This way we are writing molecular formula, just the exchange of valency gives us correct molecular formula. Iron oxide, iron, its symbol is Fe, oxide means oxygen is combined. Valency of iron is 2, oxygen is 2, equal valency, no exchange. Ferric oxide, iron, ferric means iron and oxygen, oxide means oxygen. 
but ferric means iron has valency 3. At this time, valency of iron is 3, oxygen is 2. That's why valency of iron 3 is given to oxygen and oxygen valency 2 is given to iron. Ferrous oxide. Ferrous oxide means again we have iron combined with oxygen but valency of iron is 2 and oxygen is also 2 equal valency no exchange. Os means minimum valency and ik means maximum valency. Iron has 2 valency 2 and 3 that's why os means 2 valency ik means 3 valency. Sodium hydroxide. Sodium is any hydroxide OH. Sodium valency 1, hydroxide valency 1, equal valency no exchange. It's correct molecular formula. Next, aluminium, Al, nitride means nitrogen is combined. Aluminium valency 3, nitrogen valency 3, equal valency no exchange. Calcium phosphate. Calcium Ca, phosphate means PO4. Valency of calcium is 2, but phosphate is 3. That's why we are, we are exchanging valency. For valency of phosphate, 3 is given to calcium. Calcium, 2 is given to phosphate. Now, ammonium sulfate. Ammonium means NS4, and sulfate means SO4. Sulfate, valency 2, ammonium 1. 1, we don't have to transfer. 2 of sulfate is given to ammonium. Zinc hydroxide. Zinc Zn hydroxide OS zinc valency 2 hydroxide 1 1 we don't have to transfer zinc valency 2 should be given to hydroxide if it is radical we have to put it in bracket and then we'll transfer hydrogen sulfide hydrogen as sulfide means sulfur is combined hydrogen valency 1 sulfur 2 that's why S2S lead oxide but lead 4 oxide means at this time lead has valency 4 it means what? Lead oxide. Lead valency 4. Oxy oxide means oxygen valency 2. If 4 atoms of lead combine with 2 atoms of oxygen, I mean to say, lead valency 4, we can give here 4 valency to oxygen and 2 valency to of oxygen to lead. And if 2 atom of lead combines with 4 atom of oxygen, then one atom of lead combines with two atom of oxygen that's why instead of writing this we'll write this because common is taken magnesium hydroxide magnesium is mg hydroxide means os magnesium valency two and hydroxide one one we don't have to transfer magnesium two is transferred to hydroxide this way now calcium nitrite Calcium means Ca, NITR, IT, IT means NO2. Calcium valency 2, nitrite valency 1, 1 we are not transferring, Ca, NO2, whole 2. Cupic oxide, Ic means maximum valency, copper has 1 and 2, valency 2 is maximum, that's why cupic oxide, CuO, copper has valency 2, oxygen valency 2, equal valency, no exchange. Now look at this, hydrogen bromide, hydrogen as bromide means bromine is combined and both of them have one valency, equal valency, no exchange. Aluminium sulfate, aluminium means Al, sulfate means SO4, valency of aluminium is 3, sulfate is 2, that's why sulf 2 of sulfate is given to aluminium, 3 of aluminium should be given to sulfate but we have to put it into bracket because the whole sulfate is 3. Calcium bicarbonate, calcium Ca, bicarbonate means HCO3, HCO3. Now calcium valency 2, bicarbonate valency 1, we we don't have to transfer one. Calcium 2 should be given to bicarbonate. Magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium Mg, hydroxide OH, magnesium valency 2, hydroxide 1. One we don't have to transfer. That's why valency of magnesium 2 is given to hydroxide. This way we can write molecular formula of a compound, but it is possible only when you are clear about the valency of element and its symbol and you are clear about the uh, formula and valency of radical. Without this, you will not...